discriminative stimulus for the punisher an SDP a discriminative stimulus for a punisher make the rule and make it known right so if you engage in X you will get in trouble right? um, you have a student handbook that's exactly what this is about if you cheat you get a zero you get kicked out of school done right that's that's the rule for plagiarism there's just like no that's that's the rule so don't plagiarize right um, you know, I remember classrooms growing up. We had teachers that put the, the you know, some rules on the board, and other you know they put a lot of rules on the walls, right? And I remember one we had warm fuzzies and cold pricklies. And cold pricklies it was a, a bad statement or a mean statement. It would get you in trouble. And if you did those, you would uh, lose recess or you would lose uh, or you would get sent to the principal's office or something like that. But the idea is make it clear what the punisher is. So if we go back to the dog example, and my buddy with the, him, with the dog getting on the couch, uh, he was a discriminative stimulus for punishment. So the dog would get off the couch when he came home right, to avoid getting the punishment, or get off the couch as soon as he heard him come home um, so the dog wouldn't get punished. Right? So make a rule and make it known. It works a lot better. Punish immediately. Don't wait for hours and hours and hours. You may be punishing desirable behavior. I think your book goes over an interesting example of this, but you can think about the uh, uh, a dog that you know, poops in the house or something during the day. Right? Then you come home. The dog approaches you at the door, greets you, and says, Hi, how are you? Right? Ha ha. Yeah, dogs don't say that, but you get the idea. The dog greets you, gets all excited, and then you smell the poo at the same time, and you punish the dog. Right? Well, guess what? You didn't punish the dog for pooping. You punished the dog for greeting you. Now, again, reinforcers are going to win out, so the dog may continue to, to show up and greet you, but you're likely punishing it for actually showing up and greeting you at the door and not punishing it for pooping. So catch them in the act and punish them immediately. That's the idea. Right? Unlike reinforcement, continuous schedules are best. With punishment, every single time the behavior happens, get rid of it. Punish it. Stop that behavior. Why? Well, because if you don't, then you have set up an intermittent reinforcement situation. And as you know about intermittent reinforcement, it's more powerful than continuous reinforcement. So intermittent punishment really is intermittent reinforcement. Sometimes I'm getting punished for it. Sometimes I'm getting reinforced for it. And that's going to backfire dramatically. So if you're going to punish something, punish it every single time. Don't allow somebody to get away with it now and then... Um, well, next time I'm going to punish you, and then after that, well, you get away with it this time, and so on and so forth. You're just going to actually strengthen the behavior when you do that.